Hello everybody, welcome back to Mark's Beer Reviews and I have finally got my taste buds back which means I've got a tasting for you. It's kind of what I used to do um, until the Rona got hold of me. Um, this will be the first beer review I've done in this new setting. This isn't permanent, this is totally temporary. Um, we're swapping over, I probably should have done it by now and I can only apologise for being a little bit rubbish. Um, right then, we have got an absolute, this is special. Um, I don't know if the beer is special, but this is certainly a special review. Um, I've not done, I've not had a exclusive release or special edition beer or anything like that. <clears throat> um, but this is all of those things wrapped up into one. Um, so let's go through it. I'll introduce the beer first and then I'll tell you a bit more about the breweries behind it. Um, yeah, here we go. So I have got this. Some of you will recognize that logo there. That is Emperor's Brewery, and they've teamed up with my local brewery, Ampersand Brew Co, who are based in Dis in South Norfolk. Um, and they've made a chocolate and hazelnut imperial stout called Execute Order 66. Um, I'm not too much of a movie fan, um, but I've probably got something to do with Star Wars because <laughs> their last one was called the um, their last stout they brewed together was called Mockalorian, um, and I believe that was a chocolate and coffee imperial stout at ten and a half percent. This is a chocolate and hazelnut imperial stout at ten and a half percent. There you go. Um, I had the Mockalorian. That's probably going back three years ago now. I reckon. It was banging, lovely. Um, it had everything I like about an Imperial Stout. It had mouthfeel, um, it was creamy, it was does what it says in the tin, it was chocolatey, it was coffee, it was caramel, it was, oh, it was, it was insanely good, insanely good. So when I saw on Amps, uh, Ampersand's Instagram that Emperors were back in town doing their thing, I got a little bit excited. Now, obviously, I've spoke about Ampersand before. They are my local brewery. I live in South Norfolk, um, and they are my lo most local big brewery, certainly my, my most local craft brewery, um, and they've gone strength to strength. Um, I remember Ampersand when I first moved up this way five, four or five years ago. Um, they were, I believe, were they manually bottling beer? I don't know, they were bottling beer um, out of a tiny little place called Camp Hill Farm. They've now got a huge, huge unit um, that they moved into a year ago um, called the Sawmills, that's in Dis. Um, and yeah, they're going from strength to strength. Um, I'm seeing them more now in uh, online bottle shops. I'm seeing them more. That laser's absolutely killing my eye. <laughs> I'm seeing them. I'm just seeing them around the place a lot more. They're no longer my what I used to think is my little secret craft brewery. They are now very very big. They're an invest. They're investing in kit all the time. I actually bumped into them at Beerex in Liverpool where they were looking at more tanks. Um, and yeah, they're going to be one to watch in the coming years. Emperors then, um, a lot of you will know who Emperors are, so for those of you that don't, um, I believe it's a one-man team. Um, he started brewing, um, I've got a quick history lesson off um, one of the staff members at the uh, CAP. He started off home brewing, um, I think he, I think he's, I think he does alright for himself uh, out of business, so he earns a good living, and he got to the point where his home brew was so good he wanted to take it commercial and he got a very very quick um, name for himself in terms of brewing good beers generally almost all or almost always stouts um, he's had he's done brews with Sussex Small Batch, Arundel Brewery um, obviously Ampersand before, Low Key, he's everywhere if you're part of like the craft beer Facebook pages you'll have seen this guy knocking about um, I'm just going to make sure the camera's recording because this is quite an important beer. <laughs> um, yes, it is because the amount of times I do that, um, I record a video and I taste the beer and my phone goes up the chute is not even worth thinking about. Let me just double check again because I'm nervous. Um, let's just roll with it. Right, let's get this beer into the glass. Um, I'm blooming excited for this. This beer is out today at nine o'clock. Um, also today at nine o'clock. You could do your orders and the beers will be delivered out today. So I believe this this tasting that you're watching now is the first, is will be one of the first commercially sold can tastings um, of this beer in the world. Um, there we go, right, there we go. 
should have opened that in front of you. Bit of smoke on the can opening. This is going to be as dark as you like, obviously. You'll, some of you will notice my Ciba Beerex glass. Um, I left it in my bag because um, they were struggling with glasses and we were just keeping our own. So I chucked them in the bag and come home with one by accident. So hey, here we go. Right, let's have a look at that then. That just looks cracking. <laughs> um, looks, yeah, every bit an Imperial Stout. Um, it's got a half a finger, tan coloured head, jet, back, jet black beer in the glass, maybe a bit of red bleeding through at the bottom. That could be the glass though. Um, but yeah, that looks absolutely banging. Um, let's get a nose in then. Bitter chocolate. Coffee caramel off the roasted malts that are in this. Vanilla. It smells boozy. I have to say it smells every bit of ten and a half percent beer. Um, but I'm excited for this. It just looks look at that. <laughs> it looks engine oil thick up the side of the glass. That is leaving a residue up the side of the glass. I know this glass is horrendously dirty. This was probably touched by about 50 people at Beerex. Um I have washed it by the way, I don't know why I said that, because I've washed it. Um right, let's go in then. This smells absolutely insane. Obviously, I know it's a chocolate and hazelnut. I'm getting a nuttiness, but it's not over. It's not overpowering on the aroma. Anyway, let's go in, everybody. Cheers! I'm excited to be tasting beer again on the internet. The taste buds are back. <laughs> Here we go. Happy Friday, everyone. Oh wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, thought straight away, um, big dark roasted malt flavors, that caramel chocolate comes through. It's a real bitter, bitter chocolate. Um, it's quite sweet. It's engine oil thick as well. It's great mouthfeel. Often, too many times, people brew Imperial Stouts and they're just watery. They're, they're, they're too thin for me, for my personal um, taste. Uh, but this is anything but thin. Oh, that is delightful. And the nuttiness. The nuttiness follows really, really late. It just whacks you with um, hazelnut. That is another beautiful, beautiful beer from the guys at Ampersand and Emperors. Um, right, I, I'm sort of, I'm getting a bit lost in this. this is, I haven't done a beer tasting in about three or four weeks. So I'm gonna go back in again and I'm gonna give you a top to bottom taste test, as Crummy would say. Starts off bitter, bitter chocolate, bitter chocolate to start, then it goes to sweet caramel, vanilla caramel flavours. And then it finishes, it doesn't finish overly bitter. Doesn't finish overly bitter at all. It's chocolate, caramel. Vanilla, not a whole lot of nuttiness, and all of a sudden, steam it. It's almost like a train chasing you up a tunnel. <laughs> it just goes bam, hazelnut. Oh, that is absolutely lovely. Um, does it? I, I said it smells boozy, but I tell you what, it, it's not drinking like a ten and a half. Nowhere near. Nowhere near. Maybe seven or eight. Light carbonation. That works really well. I think it might be that carbonation that breaks down, just breaks the beer down a little bit. It's not so, to just take, makes it a lot lighter.
But yeah, that is that is doing exactly what it says in the tin. It's almost like it's almost like a hazelnut chocolate bar. It's got that deep roasted chocolate flavour. It's got the hazelnut and the vanilla. Must be some lactose in there as well. I'd have thought there is. Should I? I don't know if there is or not. But oh, it's creamy. It's roasted chocolate. The hazelnut sneaks up on you. The vanilla's there in the background all the way through. Yeah, that's just a very, very, very good beer. Let's have a look at the can then. So we talked about the Star Wars theme. Obviously, we've got the Star Wars can wrap again um, with a bit of blurb on the back. Um, it says, Execute Order 66, Chocolate and Hazelnut Imperial Stout. Brewed in collaboration with Emperor's Brewery, this, Im this Imperial Stout brings, brings a big, rich flavours of dark chocolate, hazelnut, vanilla, layered over deceit and treachery. treachery. Cold steeped cocoa nibs and an insta insta <laughs> interstellar lineup of malts bring complexity to this galactic stout dangerously easy to drink i'd agree so beware betrayal can become can come at any time and then it goes on to say ingredients jesus this is quite a list water barley malt which is pale chocolate brown drc roasted barley crystal light caramel oat malt wheat malt hops which a uh, single hops is pilgrim sugar yeast cacao nibs vanilla extract and hazelnut flavorings <laughs> oh yeah um Obviously, it's a stout, and obviously, it talked about it there with the amount of malt, and that's what you're picking up right at the beginning. It's a, it's a malt show. It's the, obviously, it's a malt showcase beer. Um, but what I like, I didn't know it was obviously it's hazelnut flavorings, um, vanilla extract, sugar. There's a lot of stuff in there, but a lot of sort of um, additional bits. Obviously, it's a, it's a flavored stout. There is gonna be, but they don't override that malt that's, that's right at the front. Right, it's just absolutely lovely. Those, it's now I've had a look at the can, and it's almost funny how you can how things can play on your mind. Um, and it's made me think about how how the, the malt all the way through the beer. Oh, it's just lovely. It's really really good. Um, this can is available. If you've caught it in time, because the last beer, the Mokalorian, there was like as much as most of the Emperor beers, um, they're really difficult to get hold of. The Mokalorian sold out very, very quickly. If that's still available, get it. It's lovely. I think it's about £7.80. Obviously, it's an Imperial Stout. The duty on these sorts of things are insane. Um, but yeah, that is another masterpiece. Uh, ampersand do some quite good stouts. Um, I've had even some special edition ones like a Choc Ice Stout called Mini Moon. I've had Full Moon, Half Moon, the Mokalorian, this. This is my favourite, I think. This is, I love hazelnut, I should say that. I'm swayed by the hazelnut. Um, but yeah, this is an absolute masterpiece by uh, Ampersand and Emperors. Um, and yeah, go and get it. If it's still available, it might not be. Um, I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of this can sitting on the sofa, sofa with my daughter and just wondering what the hell's hit me. And just, yeah, great job, Ampersand and Empress, really. That is absolutely cracking. <laughs> right, guys, thanks very much. That is, like I say, that is an exclusive. That will be, I'm sure, that will be the, this or this will be the first tasting of this beer in a commercial, uh, uh, you know, commercially, a commercially sold can of beer. Um, Obviously, thanks to Ampersand for hooking me up, um, as you always do. <laughs> I should have worn my Ampersand top. I did buy an Ampersand top um, when I saw Andy a little while ago. I should have worn it. Um, but yeah, give it a thumbs up. It's an exclusive. You're watching, this is the first first tasting of this beer anywhere on the internet and maybe anywhere in the UK commercially. Um, yeah, it was very, very good. Um, thumbs up if you like I said before, if you don't mind, and hit that subscribe button. We are literally, I think we're about five or six away from 300 subs, which is insane. I can only thank you so much. Um, this setting will be looking very different very soon. And there may be a little name change coming to the channel um, and a new logo. And we're just going to step things up a little bit. Um, get in the comments, guys. Speak to me. Um, 
want to know any more about this beer, let me know. I can hook you up um, with all the information you need. Have a good weekend. It's Friday. Get out there, kill this day, and it's Saturday tomorrow. We can have some beers, and I'll see you later for the usual Friday Night Lives. Have a good one, guys. Cheers.